Welcome again uh, in my course Power Electronics Application in Power System. So, in the last class, I discuss uh, how an SVC be used uh, in, in voltage control of a power system, right. So, we will continue to that, we continue uh, our discussion here also in this particular lecture and I discuss uh, uh, the control block diagram of, of an SVC. Uh, uh, in very detail, uh, so as to have an idea that how an SBC uh, be used in uh, controlling the voltage of a particular bus where it is located. And also I will discuss uh, the specific nature of the uh, control characteristics, which I discuss partly in the last lecture. Okay, so, let us proceed. So, what we did in the last lecture? So, let us summarize first. So, we are here in voltage control using static bar compensator or SVC. So, what we consider here is that we have a transmission line, we have a transmission line over here. It is a long transmission line and at the midpoint of this line, we will be having a SVC, static bar compensator. Okay. Now, suppose voltage at this particular bus is V at an angle delta, voltage at this particular bus is V at an angle 0, then voltage at this SVC bus, uh, it is suppose represented by V SVC. Okay. Now, what is our goal is to control this voltage at this particular point. Okay. So, the goal is goal is here to control the voltage at the meet point of the transmission line. transmission line, where A SVC is placed, that is our goal is. Okay. So, goal of this discussion as well. In addition to that, our this is suppose if I our first goal, second goal is to discuss specific nature of specific nature of control characteristics of SVC. Okay. So, these two we will try to do uh, in this particular lecture. Now, uh, let us go back and see that we had uh, derived in the last lecture the expression of voltage at SVC uh, with respect to uh, or as a function of V reference, which is basically the reference point of the SVC control characteristics and Z Thevenin represents the Thevenin uh, equivalent impedance of the line and V Thevenin is the Thevenin equivalent impedance of the uh, this point where the SVC is located and excess is the basically slope of the control characteristics. So, we will come to this, let us write this expression once again. So, what we get? We get V SVC is equal to V reference Z Thevenin plus V Thevenin excess divided by excess plus z thevenin. Now, as a quick recapitulation, let us write what this symbol signifies. Uh, this V reference is the reference vol voltage or reference set point for SVC. V thevenin 
is Thevenin equivalent voltage at the point Thevenin equivalent voltage at the point where SVC is connected. Okay. So, Z Thevenin is Thevenin equivalent impedance or Thevenin impedance of the line seen from the point where SVC is connected now what is left axis is left here axis is the slope of the control characteristics so this is what we obtained in the last lecture right so we will work out with this uh, and come up with the expression of the uh, power flow uh, of uh, this through this transmission line uh, when this svc is connected at the midpoint so we know that the power flow the expression for power flow for power flow through this line is equal to let us say P. So, this is uh, this power flow through this line along with this SVC. So, I just keep renamed this as a P SVC. So, this P SVC does not mean that the active power drawn by the SVC. P SVC is the P S V C is the power flow through the transmission line where S V C is connected at the midpoint. All right. So this we can we know that for uh, so therefore uh, we can uh, show that this P S V C is power flowing through this particular line with the presence of S V C. So this can be rewritten as uh, this voltage V V S V C divided by Z C sin beta L by two. sin delta by 2. Okay. So, here you can understand that uh, although I uh, in this particular lecture I have not mentioned that here also our assumptions are are we have considered symmetrical lossless long transmission line. Okay. So, what we will do now is we will put the expression of VSVC in this particular expression. If I put it then uh, what we will get let us see. So, this will be equal to V, v reference divided by Zc sin beta L by 2 multiplied by this Z Thevenin divided by X S plus Z Thevenin okay. plus. 
So, when we put this over here, so this will be equal to V V T H divided by Z C sin beta L by 2 multiplied by uh, one thing I missed over here is there is a sin delta by 2 term is also here due to this sin delta by 2. So, there here also there will be a sin delta by 2 term multiplied by this uh, that excess divided by excess plus z t h. Okay. So, let us uh, remember what was this V Thevenin that we determined in the in the previous lecture. If you look back and see that uh, we already determined the expression of V Thevenin which was nothing but the open circuit voltage at the midpoint. So, this is the expression for V Thevenin. So, we will put over here. Okay. So, we will replace this V Thevenin with the expression that we know we will replace this expression of V Thevenin. We will consider that this V reference, what is V reference? V reference is basically the reference set point of the SVC. That is basically in this, this point corresponds to the control characteristics where you will get uh, this, this uh, you do not require any compensation. This point corresponds to 0 compensation required from the SVC. Okay. So, what we will do is that we let us consider that V reference is equal to V and we know this V Thevenin is equal to V. What was the expression of V Thevenin? If you look back and see this was the expression of V Thevenin. So, therefore, it is equal to V cos delta divided by cos beta L by 2. So, this is equal to V cos delta by 2 divided by cos beta L by 2. We will put this two in this particular expression. Then let us see what we will get. So, with this we will get this expression is V square sin delta by 2 divided by Z C sin beta L by 2 multiplied by this that is Z Thevenin divided by excess plus Z Thevenin. Now, when you put this V Thevenin expression over here, what we will get? We will get V square cos delta by 2 sin delta by 2 divided by Z C sin beta L by 2 this cos beta L by 2 multiplied by excess divided by excess plus Z Thevenin. Okay. Now, you know that if we just multiply this numerator and denominator with this 2, then this will become this 2 cos delta by 2 sin delta by 2 will become sin delta and 2 sin beta L by 2 cos beta L by 2 will become sin beta L. So, therefore, our expression will be this P S V C again I am telling you again that this P S V C does not represent the power drawn by the S V C or power delivered by the S V C rather this P S V C is representing the power flow through the transmission line when S V C is located at the midpoint right. Now, so P S V C expression would be equal to V square sin delta by 2. divided by Z C sin beta L by 2 multiplied by this multiplication factor Z Thevenin, Z Thevenin uh, divided by excess plus Z Thevenin that is Z Thevenin divided by excess plus Z Thevenin plus this will become as we have uh, discussed this will become V square sin delta divided by uh, Z C sin beta L Z C sin beta L. So, uh, as we know that 
2 sin uh, delta cos delta is two, as we know 2 cos delta by 2 sin delta by 2 is nothing but sin delta and 2 sin beta l by 2 multiplication of cos beta l by 2 is sin beta l. Okay. So, this is what the expression is and the multiplication factor would be x s divided by x s plus z theban n. Right? Yes. Now, as we know this this expression we know this v square sin delta by 2 divided by z c sin beta l by 2 is basically representing the compensating power due to the SBC. So, it is basically representing the power flow power flow uh, through the line with midpoint compensation. This expression I hope that you remember you have seen it before. Okay. And this v square sin delta divided by z c sin beta l it is basically representing p naught that is power flow through the line without midpoint compensation. Okay. So, that means without this midpoint compensation this is the power flow with midpoint compensation this is the power flow and if we consider consider this factor that is x s divided by x s plus z 7 in this factor this multiplication factor is represented by small k. So, then z 7 in divided by x s plus z 7 in will be equal to 1 minus small k. Okay because uh, the summation of this and this will be equal to 1 that you can see from the mathematical expression. So, therefore, so therefore, the power flow expression expression can be written as P S B C is equal to we can write it as to P comp multiplied by 1 minus k plus k P naught right ok. So, this is what the power flow expression. Now, what is that uh, basically representing? It is representing the power flow through the transmission line when you have a SBC at the midpoint to control the midpoint voltage irrespective of the line loading irrespective of the uh, other car, you know parameter variation. Now, what would be our remark uh, through this, this analysis? So, this remarks will be now this k is a parameter which can vary between 0 to 1. So, number 1 condition when k is equal to 0, what does it mean? That k is equal to 0 means it, it stands to this x s is equal to 0. You look at k is equal to 0 means uh, it means x s is equal to 0. So, that means the slope of SVC control characteristics control characteristic is considered to be 0 ok. So, when it happens then P SVC is equal to P naught. Right. 
right. So, P S B C is equal to P naught. Uh, look at this expression once again. So, if we go back and see this expression. So, this is basically equal to P comp. This is basically representing this P comp that is power flow through this transmission line with the midpoint compensation and this is representing this P or P naught uh, which is uh, the power flow through the transmission line without this midpoint compensation. Now, when we consider k is equal to 0 that means, when k can be equal to 0 because z thevenin cannot be equal to infinity. So, k can be equal to 0 when x is equal to 0. So, when k is equal to 0 that x is equal to 0 then the slope of the con wh which implies to the fact that the slope of the SPC control characteristics is considered to be 0 under this condition that P S V C will be equal to P comp okay, not P naught. So, this is in uh, first remark. Then second remark is that when k is equal to 1, when it happens k is equal to 1, when x s is equal to infinity which means the slope of the S V C control characteristics is considered to be to be infinite. So, during that time this P S V C is equal to P naught. Okay. So, this is another important remark that we can find out. Now, what essentially these two information is giving is that the slope of the control characteristics is an important factor for SVC to control the voltage of this, this particular uh, point as well as to control the power flow as well. Okay. So, that is what the important uh, message that we can uh, see over here that uh, this when your uh, slope of the control characteristic is changing actually it is uh, influencing the flow of the power through the transmission line. So, therefore, the slope of the control characteristic is to be judiciarily chosen. So, so what we can write over here is that the slope of the control characteristics okay, is an important parameter which is to be which is to be judicially chosen the choice of of the slope impacts on on the power flow of the line. So, this is what an important uh, message that we can uh, see over here. Okay. So, this is what an important message. So, therefore, uh, this uh, already I uh, told you that this control characteristics can be either having 0 slope or are having a partial slope or uh, positive slope. And I will discuss that what is the advantage of having some positive slope of the control characteristics over and above the zero slope of the control characteristics. Okay. Uh, there are some, some advantages, those things I am going to discuss right now. Okay. So, the 
एडवांटेज ऑफ ए पॉजिटिव स्लोप ऑफ कंट्रोल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स कंट्रोल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ओवर जीरो स्लोप ऑफ कंट्रोल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक so this is i am going to discuss in the in in our previous uh, uh, discussion uh, in in today's lecture you have seen that the slope is having the choice of the slope is having an important impact on the power flow of the line okay so if we consider the slope is zero power flow will be equal to similar to the control characteristics of a uh, midpoint compensation when uh, this voltage is kept constant at the midpoint as the uh, voltages of the both ends another is that when we consider the slope of the control characteristics infinite this uh, power flow will be reduced to the actual power flow of the transmission line without having the svc okay so this shows that the slope of the control characteristic has an impact on the power flow through the transmission line so that is what uh, you have learned but apart from that this uh, slope of the control characteristic has having some advantage okay a positive slope is having some advantage uh, over the zero slope so this is i am going to discuss right now now as you can see this is the uh, qspc versus vspc characteristics why this is such a specific characteristics i explained in the last lecture so in today's lecture i will uh, consider it directly to explain what is the advantage of the positive slope over the zero slope so to do so let us first draw the control characteristics okay so this is here is vspc here is qspc okay so this is the control characteristics with zero slope the control characteristics is something like this okay so this is corresponds to v reference okay okay now you can see over from this characteristic is that as the system voltage is getting change the ability of the compensation that this svc can provide is also getting change because ultimately you have seen that we know that the basic model of a svc is nothing but a variable susceptance so therefore when the susceptance will get change this compensation will get change however uh, if the voltage of the supply or voltage at the point where svc is placed gets change the the amount of, uh, or the ability of the compensation that the svc can provide that also get change okay so this characteristics corresponds to the zero slope characteristics so this is corresponds to zero slope uh, characteristics and this is what the overload region in fact this overload region will not be so much large so this is up to this so this is the overload overload range okay and this is what the control range of the svc so this is what the control range now keeping the control range same suppose this we consider a some positive slope this is what the positive slope we consider then the control characteristics will get changed like this so this will be the control characteristics this will be the control characteristics with some positive slope so here so this is the control characteristics with some positive 
slope. That means excess is let us say uh, 5 percent. Okay. Here uh, in previous characteristics, so this corresponds to 0 slope that means excess is equal to 0. Okay. So, excess is basically the slope of the control characteristics. Okay. Now, what we will uh, see over here is we have not discussed so far the load characteristics along with the control characteristics with of SBC. So, therefore, this I am going to discuss right now. Suppose, uh, this is the system load line, this is the system load line, this is something like this. this is something like this. Usually, the system load line is something like this. So, these are representing the system load lines. Now, what does it mean actually? Suppose, uh, this uh, SBC is connected to a particular system which is following this, this load line and at any point of time there is a over voltage. Okay. So, when uh, it will uh, cut this control characteristics with SBC at this particular point, then this uh, SBC will provide this much amount of compensation. As you know, this positive Q SBC implies to the inductive compensation and negative QSPC stands for the capacitive compensation. Okay. Now, this load what this load line is representing is that suppose the system characteristics follow this dotted line as we have shown this parallel dotted line out of which this dotted line it is basically representation of the system characteristics or load characteristics of the uh, power system where the SBC is connected. Okay. Now, there is an over voltage. Okay. So, how this over voltage can be mitigated at the point where this load characteristic is will cut the SBC characteristics that would be the operating point and SBC will, pro will provide that much of bar in order to bring down the voltage to the reference voltage that is this. So, that is basically the significance of the load lines. Okay. So, I repeat uh, this explanation again. So, I have shown uh, these characteristics. Uh, now, if your system characteristic is like this that means, there is an under voltage over here and then this will be the operating point where this load characteristics cut or system characteristics cut this. 0 slope control characteristics of the SBC, then SBC will provide that much of compensation okay, to bring uh, to, to enhance the voltage level equal to the V reference. Okay. So, that is how this uh, SBC control characteristics work. Now, you see this is uh, the system characteristics. Now, if we can just uh, take the two extreme system characteristics, one is this, one is this another is that. Okay. One is this, another is that. Now, corresponding to these characteristics, if you consider this excess is equal to 0 that control characteristics with 0 slope, then we require basically that much of reactive power or that much of capacitive reactive power corresponds to excess is equal to 0. So, this is Q S V C capacitive corresponds to excess is equal to 0. Okay. However, if we just consider a positive slope like this, then for same con uh, you know load characteristics, this will cut at this point. Okay. So, we require that much of Q SVC capacitive corresponds to excess is equal to 0 0.05. So, from this figure you can see that Q SVC capacitive 
corresponds to x s is equal to 0 0.05 or 5 percent is lower than is lower than q s v c capacitive corresponds to x s is equal to 0. Okay. So, that means, we required lower compensation uh, for uh, having some control uh, characteristics with positive slope. Similarly, here you can see uh, corresponding to these load characteristics to the extreme load characteristics, you can see that this is the amount of inductive compensation that is Q S V C let us say L corresponds to x s is equal to 0. However, corresponding to the same system characteristics, if we accept some positive slope of the control characteristic, amount of compensation to mitigate the over voltage would be that much. So, this will be Q S V C L corresponds to x s is equal to 5 percent. So, therefore, you can also see that uh, this Q S V C L corresponds to x s is equal to 5 percent. That means, there is a 5 percent positive slope of the control characteristic is considered is usually lower than this Q S V C L corresponding to the control characteristics x s is equal to 0. So, therefore, one important remark that we can write over here that we require lesser amount of lesser amount of bar compensation corresponding to corresponding to x s is equal to 5 percent as compared to compared to that of x s is equal to 0 to, at, to achieve same amount of over voltage or under voltage mitigation. So, this is one of the important point and this is one of the uh, you know benefit or one of the motivation behind some positive slope of the control characteristics for SVC. Okay. So, that is that I hope that it is, this is understood to you. So, we require lesser amount of bar compensation when you consider a positive slope instead of considering uh, zero slope of the control characteristic for the same SVC. So, therefore, when you have uh, a positive slope of the control characteristics, what we will achieve is you will uh, require the lower amount of compensation. Therefore, you, you require uh, a lower amount of compensation to have a same amount of uh, under voltage or vol over voltage mitigation. So, therefore, the size of the compensator would be also lower okay, or size of the compensator would be uh, lesser than uh, that of the case when you consider x s is equal to 0 or slope of the control characteristic is, is equal to 0. This is one of the important advantage. There are some advantages also. Uh, the second advantage that I want to see so over here in order to show that let me draw this control characteristics once again. Suppose this is Q S V C, this is characteristics corresponds to x s is equal to 0 x s is equal to 0 means there will be no slope. So, control characteristics will be in parallel to the uh, this x axis or horizontal axis. So, this characteristics corresponds to x s is equal to 0. Okay. Now, now, these are the rating requirement of the uh, you know 
this QSVC for this particular case corresponds to x is equal to 0. Now, considering same rated uh, compensator, let us assume that the control characteristic is having some positive slope. So, this is what the control characteristics with some positive slope. This is what the control characteristics with some positive slope. So, this corresponds to let us say x s is equal to 5 percent or 0 0.05 per unit. Now, you know that uh, this is equal to V s V c. This point we consider as the reference voltage. Okay. So, I have drawn two characteristics, one uh, is corresponding the to x s is equal to 0. So, this is basically S V c control characteristics, control characteristics considering x s is equal to 0 and this is S V c control characteristics corresponding to x s is equal to 5 percent. So, I have drawn over here. Now, similarly, we will draw the load line. Okay. So, let us consider this load line like this is representation by dotted line, parallel dotted line. This is one load line, this is another load line, this is another load line. Okay. This is another load line and so on. So, this is another load line this is another load line. Now, suppose this this load line corresponds to L 1 this load line corresponds to L 2 this is the load line corresponds to L 3 this is the load line corresponds to L 4 and this is load line corresponds to L 5. So, this uh, you know load line shows that there is a over voltage ab much above the higher uh, this reference voltage. So, what is the task of SVC is to bring down the voltage level by providing the compensation that uh, compensation amount will be uh, the operating point where this characteristics cut the SVC control characteristics. Okay. Now, this can be done also by this control characteristics by uh, providing that much amount of R. Okay. But the difference between these two is that in this uh, you know uh, control characteristics we assume that uh, we will mitigate the over voltage or under voltage by bringing down the voltage exactly as the V reference that is why it is a flat voltage profile. Whereas, in this particular case we consider that there would be certain amount of higher uh, above uh, this uh, voltage of V reference and some certain amount of lower value of the V references is acceptable. And therefore, we, we consider that some little bit of higher value of this V reference or the voltage of little bit of higher value of the V reference and voltage little bit of lower value of the V references are acceptable and therefore, some amount of over voltage and under voltages are already acceptable uh, to us. Now, here you can see is that uh, when we have x s is equal to 0 in this particular control characteristics, it can mitigate. So, if I write over here, so S V C with x s is equal to 0 can mitigate mitigate over voltage and under voltage under voltage corresponding to to the system characteristics L 2 to L 4. However, S V C with x s is equal to 
x s is equal to 5 percent can mitigate over voltage and under voltage corresponding to corresponding to the system characteristics L 1 to L 5. So, that means, the range of the system characteristics for uh, this uh, this excess corresponds to 5 percent is more than the range of the comp uh, you know over voltage and under voltage mitigation corresponding to the system characteristics uh, of excess is equal to 0. So, here we have more range. So, therefore, what we can write is that the second advantage is that the SVC with positive slope prevents the operation uh, more frequently to the both ends of the control characteristics or uh, also we can write the SPC with positive slope of control characteristics, control characteristics has more wide range of over voltage or rather has the capability of over voltage and under voltage mitigation and under voltage mitigation. mitigations for more wide range of system characteristics. Okay. So, that is what another advantage of having some slope in the control characteristics. Okay. Now, these are the some important advantages of positive having this positive slope of the control characteristics and that is why uh, this SVC control characteristic is considered to have some positive slope uh, not a zero slope and I will finish up this part of the lecture with uh, by showing you a typical block diagram. So, control block diagram. for SPC. I will finish this part of the lecture by typically sketching this uh, control block diagram of SPC. Already this different aspects of the uh, SBC control is already taught to you. So, therefore, uh, these things would be understandable right now. So, what is done is first uh, signal is sought from this VSPC and ISPC. Okay. Now, ISPC is being multiplied with this the control slope that is excess and then what is done is that they are brought to a comparator. Okay. They are brought to a comparator. Okay. Then uh, what is done whatever the signal you will get uh, that may have several noises. So, filter is required. Now, after filtering this symbol, whatever you can get, because you see the V S P C uh, minus that is negative of this I S P C multiplied by X S gives you V reference. This is basically compared with the actual V reference which is being put by the operator and the auxiliary symbol V aux. 
then whatever this signal you are getting that is placed in a voltage regulator block here we have the actual control controller to regulate the voltage level then it is this regulator will give you this BSBC that is uh, reference value of this susceptance uh, of this SBC. So, provided that this will lie within the limits of BSBC max and BSBC mean. These are limiting factor depending upon the size of the SBC. Then we will be having a TSC or TCR logic circuit logic uh, block which will generate the firing angle angle for thyristor gate pulse. So, it is basically gen it will generate basically gate pulse. So, in short this is the control block diagram. Now, this is the reference voltage and this auxiliary voltage is the voltage signal which can provide some of the auxiliary control uh, functionalities which I already taught which may include the damping of the power system oscillation which also include several other uh, similar kind of control objectives. Okay. But in general this is what the control block diagram of the SBC and this is all about the uh, our uh, main task of this SBC voltage control. Uh, in, in the next lecture I will discuss some numerical problem uh, basically one numerical problem uh, regarding this. Let me thank you for attending this part of the lecture once again. Thank you very much. Thank mm -hmm. you.